A few things to note in this video. The latest Hogwarts Legacy playthrough showcased a few new items that if you were paying close attention to, you could spot them out. One potion you already know of that is very strong and could possibly be the number one potion to use. But this other one is the one I'm talking about that I spotted in the latest playthrough that was available to a select few of YouTubers and people interested in the game. This is of course a subjective view because you may not think that it's the best potion but from a perspective in relation to what the strongest spell is, well I think it's safe to say that this may be the best option. And in this video I'm going to tell you the exact ingredients to brew both of them. Now I know that you may be thinking that you already know all of the potions in Hogwarts Legacy so far, but I don't think many of you know about this second one that I'm referring to in the thumbnail. It's pretty awesome. But before we get into that, don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Also, to stay up to date with everything I do. Now, I'm pretty sure that you know what the Focus Potion does, right? Well, if you didn't, it decreases your spell's cooldowns. And I'll just tell you real quick the ingredients needed to brew a bottle. It requires one Lacewing Fly, one Fluxweed Stem, and one Dugbog Tongue. Not much is known at the moment about where to find these ingredients, but I'm sure there will be a lot of great farm spots in the open world, loot caves and such. But this potion is very important, and I believe this might be number one or two on the list depending on how you look at it. Because there's another spell not mentioned yet out of all the others like Wigan Weld, Felix, and Eridus that they've already shown. And I'll get into the new one in a second, but focus is very important when it comes to dealing strong, consistent damage throughout your fight encounters. And the reason it is a number one contender is due to the amount of spell cooldown it decreases. The infamous unforgivable curses we all know as the killing curse, Avracadavra, has a one minute cooldown. The focus potion after consuming reduces that by 50%, so now it's only 30 seconds. And the focus potion not only reduces the cooldown of one spell, but every single one that you have equipped. Moreover, I do believe that Avracadavra has the longest cooldown in the game, so just imagine how fast you'll be spamming the others. But that's not all. In the room of requirement, there is also gear you can craft and traits which can be added to that gear. If you look here, there are an array of traits you can slot in depending on the levels. These traits are only level 1, and by the way, this is only wishful thinking. I'm pretty sure there will be legendary and extraordinary traits with the ability to cool down your spells that could be stacked on top of whatever potion you're using. Anyways, let's get into the new damage potion that was revealed in the latest play tests I was talking about. It has not been mentioned on any online source that I'm aware of, but here it is, and I do have the ingredients to brew it as well. It's called the Maxima Potion. Increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time, 20 seconds, and its ingredients are one leech juice and one spider fang. And I think these ingredients are going to be a lot harder to attain because, as you can see, one of them requires a spider fang, which only comes from the Acromantula. You know, the giant spiders that have a particular taste for human flesh. Or maybe they'll be sold somewhere in the world, who knows. But this potion also serves as a number one contender for that spot because that damage increase is insane. I witnessed it, and the damage difference when it is in use is significantly higher. But you ultimately have to choose which one is better for you. At first, I thought you could stack spell use, but as you can see here, you need to wait until whichever one is in your system wears off before consuming another. When it comes to actually brewing the potions, you can do that in the room of requirement. It won't be unlocked right away. You'll need to progress through the game to eventually unlock the station. Once you do and activate it, there will be instructions on the screen, similar to quick events when brewing potions. Follow the instructions carefully to make a potion successfully. After that, you're good to go, and they'll be accessible in your inventory right away. Oh yeah, and I'll definitely do an update to this video whenever I discover the best spots to farm the ingredients like Acromantula Loot Caves or any good farm spots to frequent. I'd like you to tell me about all the potions you know so far and which one you're most interested in using. I'm pretty sure there'll be more potions to discover once Hogwarts Legacy comes out, but we'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for listening to the end. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel if this information was helpful to you in any way. I'll catch you on the next one. Be right out.